rough and just raw. The way it's shot, the way the camera is handled, the style of acting, the set design. Not only witnessing it, but you're a part of it. You're just in there with them. It's one of the reasons why I like this film. It's almost like it's a documentary. I'm not proud of it, but Narc was one of the first movies I ever illegally downloaded. <laughs> I've bought it since. <laughs> That's not true. Maybe I should buy it. I didn't know what I was doing. I was a teenager and we had just gotten our first family computer and internet and the whole thing. And I went crazy and I just started downloading stuff. And I remember seeing an interview with Ray Liotta on Conan. And he was talking about the role and how he put himself into it. And it was super dramatic and intense. And it took a lot of his time and attention to really bring the character to life. And I just remembered the name, so that was one of the first things I downloaded. It must have been 240 resolution. So you had this big computer monitor and then this really little video in the middle. But I watched it and it very quickly became one of my favorite movies. NARC stars Jason Patrick as Detective Nick Tejas, who is a former undercover police officer who was taken off the police force after he became addicted to drugs while on the job. Then Nick Tejas is brought back into the police force to investigate the murder of another undercover police officer. And while he's investigating this murder, he is partnered up with the dead officer's former partner, Henry Oak, played by Ray Liotta. The film is part mystery and thriller and drama. Part of the mystery is the investigation of who murdered the police officer. So as Nick Tejas goes undercover to um, find clues about the identity of the murderer, he begins to find information about his corrupt partner, Henry Oak. The thing that stuck out to me the most was how the film was shot. As dirty as the premise. It's filthy, it's grimy, you're dealing with drug addicts and murderers. and It's a dark place to dwell. And it's shot very dark, high contrast. You have stuff that's blown out. You have crushed images. There's a lot of grain and tooth, furtive camera movement. Sometimes things go in and out of focus. Like they're involved and they're trying to figure out what's happening. A cinema verite feel to it. Like someone was just thrown into the mix of a situation and was there to capture everything as a documentarian of some kind. They just wanted to capture it. You know, you don't feel a performance. You just feel. You feel what the actors are putting out there. You know, that's really what both of these actors are, are so good at, Ray Liotta. I mean, he's so good at, at drawing it, right? He's so good at the intensity and the feeling and, 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 and that's such a startling, high, high intensity, high energy type of acting that you just get enthralled by it. And it's complemented so beautifully with Jason Patrick. Now, what's interesting is Jason Patrick was in another film in the 80s or early 90s called Rush. Oh man, it's one of the best drug films. I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful drama, but it does portray a police officer who goes undercover and gets addicted to, to, to drugs. There's so many scenes in there that are very reminiscent to what happens maybe as a precursor to Nick Tejas in NARC. So I just find it an interesting casting choice, Jason Patrick, who throughout the whole film, man, he's just trying to keep it together. The story arc of Nick Tejas is one of redemption. While being undercover, he became addicted to heroin and they had to pull him out, they had to clean him up, and this is really the first assignment he's been given where he can go back out there. At the very beginning, when they, when they tell him they wanna recruit him, you can tell there's this sense of, man, uncertainty, of dread, of going back out there. And rightfully so, he should be scared. 
You know, he's going back out there to confront the demons that had already taken him over before. And of course, his wife is totally against it. She's very upset. She doesn't want to see her husband go through that. She doesn't want to lose her husband. So the stakes for Nick Tejas are very high. He's trying to redeem himself professionally and become a better cop. He's trying to redeem himself domestically and in his marriage as a father, but most importantly, is the redemption of himself for himself. Because it's almost like you get this feeling that he became a police officer for the right reasons, to do good, to do the right thing. Maybe not for himself, but for others, to serve others. And it's as if, if he doesn't go back, he's not fulfilling his purpose. If he does go back and he can't overcome his demons, then evil won. Evil beat him, not only physically with the drugs, but took his will to do the right thing away from him. And in that, evil wins. That's really what's riding on the shoulder of this character, Nick Tejas, because throughout the film, the investigation is not easy. The things he uncovers, are not easy things to decipher between right and wrong. He really has to look in himself, look at what his purpose is as a police officer. Why did I come back? Why am I here again? He almost has to make the self-sacrifice of putting himself in danger for the right thing. And the journey that he takes is so explosive. I mean, if you're not on the edge of your seat because of the dramatic, action of a police procedural, you know, the chasing and the running and the furtive movement with the camera and all this stuff, if you're not on the edge of your seat, then you're sitting back and you're calculating what is happening. And you're trying to put things together in, in perfect mystery fashion. You're trying to put things together as the story unfolds. And in the best dramatic fashion, it tells this wonderful story of this character on his quest for redemption. And it almost begs the question, can you do evil things for the right reason? What's more important, what you do or why you're doing it? And it goes for both characters, uh, Henry Oakes and Nick Tejas. It, it, is what I do justifiable? Do the ends justify the means? And how far can I push that line? If you're interested in watching the film, you can click the link below. Thanks for watching.